The AT&T building on Hildebrand and Broadway is up for sale, and its next door neighbor, the University of the Incarna Word, interested in buying it. The building is taking bids this month. Sarah Costa spoke with UIW about what it would mean for the university's growth if it wins the bid. The University of Incarnate Word is landlocked. That's surrounded by Highway 281, Brackenridge Park, and Broadway. So when its next door neighbor AT&T announced it was going on the market, UIW jumped at the opportunity. The land around uh, uh, the university is not generally available for development. This is one of uh, the rare opportunities. The 350,000 square foot building was built in the 1950s, originally by USAA. AT&T has been in the building for several decades. It moved its headquarters from San Antonio to Dallas in 2008. AT&T sent us a statement saying the sale of the building will have minimal effect on its employees and most of them will be relocated to their downtown locations. UIW has 6,500 students. Most most are commuters and parking is limited. If there's no space, then you're driving around for like 30 minutes trying to find an empty spot. Ensley says it would keep the marble building and renovate it for administrative offices, classrooms, and potentially residence halls. Ensley says there are currently only 1,100 beds on campus. It hopes to add more as the school grows. Freshman Jesenia Cortez lives on campus and hopes to see more housing. And it's very different from dorm life than staying at home because you you grow a community. Ensley says if the university gets the property, it would mean more students. He says that would be a win for surrounding businesses. They frequent the businesses in the area, so I think that they would attribute to the economy of the corridor. The real estate office handling the AT&T building did not say how much the building is worth. The university did not tell us how much they are putting up for an offer. The university are not the only ones placing a bid. There are other interested investors. There is no set deadline of when a decision will be made. Steve.